PR is so important in real estate and there are so many different creative things you can do to stand out and get known. And I know you are so good at one of the best arts in PR and that's storytelling. So I'm going to start right there. Can you share some stories of clients that you've worked with where they have used PR and it's helped them get more clients? Welcome to the Jennifer J. Hammond podcast. Jennifer is a licensed realtor, educator, speaker, and best-selling author. Jennifer's goal is to help you find your yay in every day. Hello, 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 hello. This is Jennifer J. Hammond. And I'm so excited. We have Liz Kelly here today. Oh my gosh, she is a rock star. You don't know. I can't wait for you to know. So number one, as I'm always helping with real estate agents, one of the things that every real estate agent you need is you need to get known. How do you get people to know about you? Hopefully your friends and family um, spread the word, but Liz Kelly is someone who is an expert at helping you get that PR that you need so that people will know that you're an expert and that you're the right realtor for them. So welcome to the show, Liz. Well, thank you so much, Jennifer, for having me here. And I'm really excited to help your audience because PR is so important in real estate. And there are so many different creative things you can do to stand out and get known. And I know you are so good at one of the best arts in PR and that's storytelling. So I'm going to start right there. Can you share some stories of clients that you've worked with where they have used PR and it's helped them get more clients? Absolutely. Well, I worked with a client in the San Francisco Bay Area. Her name is Debbie DiMaggio, and she's actually related to Joe DiMaggio, the New York Yankees baseball legend wow. who was married to Marilyn Monroe. So when we worked on her story, and that's really what you want to do is come up with a, a wow story that is memorable. We talked about making her the realtor to the stars nice. and, and then we tied it to this Joe DiMaggio story and, and that made her memorable. And there was so many great things that we did about that. And we actually had her at Oscar and Emmy gifting suites where she gave out a little book that, that talked about real estate, but she tied it to the entertainment world. She did it with a, a graphic artist from uh, DreamWorks. So there were so many fun things that I did with Debbie. I could go on and on, but I'll, I'll just stop there with that first example. Well, and that's one of the things that I think is so important with PR. You want to do something that's unique that helps you stand out. But and I, I would say, you know, I know there's that old saying, all press is good press. So I wouldn't say that's always great for real estate agents. You want it to be a great press and you want to figure out what is a niche way that you can really help people? And, and quite frankly, it's always really important to find out what's going on. So we're going to say right now it's April 2, 2022. And the spring market that is a crazy market that's out there. How do you, as you're looking as a real estate agent, we're looking for more and more houses because the inventory is so low. We're looking for more houses to sell. So I'm curious on what would be some pointers that you might give to somebody who desperately needs to stand out from the crowd because they're trying to get more listings. They're trying to get a seller to notice them. What would you suggest for someone? Absolutely. I mean, it, it is such a crazy market. I, I've talked to realtors. They say this is their best year ever, but they've gotten up to, I think, 200 bids on one property. I mean, it's just insane. So what you want to do, obviously, is boost confidence that you know what you're doing, that you've got um, command of what's going on. And so I think maybe brand yourself as a real estate educator and somebody who can help them through the whole process, because buying a house is intimidating. It's am I getting ripped off? And so you have to ease their comfort. And one of my clients had what we called VIP service. And so, for example, she would come in, look at the house. She would say, okay, we got to repaint this. We got to fix the, the gardens. And, and then if you had old stuff, she would actually take it to the Salvation Army for you. So she had this hands-on high touch approach, which really built a strong relationship. And then 
that person is going to come back. So that would be just some key tips. Focus on VIP service because you're going to have less closings, but you, you want to make the most out of it and really build that relationship. I agree. And I think that what you just said, service is so really critical to standing out from the crowd now is to figure out how can you be that person who educates and helps because the, the home buying process is, is stressful in any market, but in a market where everything is moving so fast and it's so competitive, it, you know, it has that kind of auction atmosphere and that can bring up good and bad feelings. You know, if you're on the good side of it, meaning that you're you're the seller who's getting a lot of money, but also it can be very confusing. And, and well, did we get enough money? Should we have gotten more money? Oh my gosh, the questions that are asking. So as, as you just said, as an educator, there's all sorts of platforms. And I know you, you know this really well. So what are some of the platforms that you would suggest as a real estate agent who's looking to get PR? I mean, there's television, there's radio, there's podcasts, but I'm curious, what platforms would you suggest for a realtor who wants great PR? Absolutely. Well, I think Podcasts and radio would be my top thing. I had another client who focused solely on selling real estate in Panama. And so we got her on real estate investing podcasts because if you're on CNN, hey, that's great. But chances are the people watching CNN are not sophisticated real estate investors that she was looking for. So podcasts and, and radio are great. I think also social media and being consistent with that and putting tips up on Instagram and also YouTube is a great source. LinkedIn is another one, but I, I actually love Instagram and, and YouTube, especially because Instagram is very visual and you can put the hashtags in, make sure you do that, like hashtag, uh, real estate house available <laughs> I don't know. Um, or you know make it geographic so if you live in washington dc say washington dc real estate the reason why i love youtube is because it's great for seo so you want to make sure you put in those keywords also that are geographic so when somebody is doing a google search your things pop up so i would say podcast radio and social media perfect i love that and that gives people flexibility because i've also seen um where a real estate agent might dominate just one and it's good to to spread your wings and also figure out which one is the best for you i have a gentleman in our office who has millions and millions of followers on TikTok because he makes these crazy and I want to say crazy, beautiful, but they're short, little, it's on, but they tell a story. And I have found that that's also part of the best PR you can ever have is also sharing a story. And so as a real estate agent, you know, as you were talking about before, about kind of volunteering and being of service and things like that. And you had it started with sharing the story about, you know, being related to a famous baseball player. How important is it for a real estate agent to be able to, in a concise way, be able to share their story with a prospective client? Well, I think it's so important because people are looking for connectors and, and giving back is a good way to make a connection. For example, in my book, I actually donate part of the proceeds to autism charities because mm. I have someone in my family with autism. I, I had somebody pick up the book as a textbook just because of that connection. Now, in another case, I had a real estate client who had adopted five charities. And I think five charities is a lot. So what I try to do when I coach clients is I say, pick one that has a really strong meaning and then focus on that, go to those events, make a big deal out of it, do a fundraiser, and it's got to come from the heart. And when it's coming from the heart, you are naturally going to attract people by giving back. 
I think that that's really good advice is, is figuring out what it is because you're, you, it's hard for somebody to be known for five things when <laughs> you, you're usually known for one particular or maybe two, but not too many because it just becomes confusing. And I, I, almost, I always kind of laugh because it's not that we can't continue to get information, but we do sometimes get information overload. And so if you want to be memorable, it's good to be memorable for maybe one or two things. And your story is really important. And I think here's another one that I would love for you to to speak about, because so often I've talked to real estate agents and they say, well, there's nothing unique about me. And I'm like, well, that's not true. We all have something unique and we all have a story to share. And I understand so often we, we have a tendency to downplay um, our own story or even be able to recognize what's unique about us. So how would you suggest for people to find, to kind of dig out that story and discover what's unique about them when they're trying to create PR as a real estate agent? Well, that is a great question. And really it is all about the story and making those connectors, but you have to dig deep. So a lot of times what I'll do is I'll interview a client for an hour mm. to find the gold nuggets because many people, they can't see them. So maybe work with a friend and have them interview you and then say to the friend or a PR person, of course, yeah. but uh, what, what stands out to you? So for example, I had another uh, client who is uh, into real estate and they sell uh, agriculture and, and land and you know you can invest in that property. And so when I dug deep, she told me that she actually grew vegetables and fruits in the garden as a child. Oh. So there was that magic connection that we found, but it wasn't obvious to her. It wasn't it wasn't obvious to her. So sometimes you need another person to help you. But there are really powerful things in everybody's story. And another thing that I like to throw out there, which is a way to think about this, is think about fun facts. So if you were at a party and you wanted to share fun facts about yourself, what would they be? And, and, and that's where a lot of times you get the connectors. And I've seen podcast hosts ask my clients for, you know, what are fun facts about you? And, and out of that, I have discovered incredible things like somebody started their business, their first business at seven years old, recycling golf balls. Now that, that is really an interesting story and there's a lot more to it, but think about fun facts that you would want to share about yourself when you're talking about your story. I love that because that's also true. I've had some of the best dinner parties I've ever been to. They had to sit down and in front of us, it would have a question. And it was the question that we would ask everyone at the table and we would be our question to go around. And it was such not only a great conversation piece, but it was funny because again, things you wouldn't normally just in polite conversation maybe have come up with, just like asking, what was your first business? I mean, you might not ask that of somebody because you wouldn't think that whatever they're doing now, maybe they did start with a golf ball recycling as their first little entrepreneurial endeavor. So finding a way to be creative. And I do think that um, hiring somebody as a PR person who can help you and again, pull out from you what you don't, which you may not recognize, because sometimes, again, it's so hard to see what makes you unique, especially as a real estate agent, which brings me to you. How did you get into the PR business? Well, there, there is a great story about that. I actually got laid off after 9-11 oh. and decided to write that book that I always wanted to write. And so I ended up writing a dating book <laughs> because I was called Dr. Liz in high school for giving dating advice. And I had a lot of fun with it. I met a lot of book marketing people and I really made it like a job because I wasn't working and I was getting up and I was editing my book at 6 a.m. I mean, it was I was so dedicated and I ended up getting 500 media interviews for that dating book. So five years wow. later, yeah, it was crazy. It was over five years, but five yeah. years later, I said, OK, I don't need to do this for me anymore. I want to do this for other people because obviously I'm very good at telling stories and getting media interviews. And I really get a charge 
out of making other people look good. And I took this personality test and they said, you're like Oprah. She can look good on camera, but where she really shines is making other people look good. And that's what I love. Yeah. And I, you know, I'm so passionate about connecting people and doing that same thing. And, and I admire that about you. It's so beautiful because when you have somebody who can help lift you up again, we can't do this life alone. We need, we, and especially as women, we need to connect. We need to find ways that we can actually um, help each other. And so it's such a pleasure I've had getting to know you and I'm so happy to have you on the show. And so I want you to share with people about um, how they can find out more about you. And of course your book. A absolutely. That that's really, um, my book is called eight second PR and it's actually, uh, the average attention span of an adult is eight seconds. Uh, and it, that's uh, less than a goldfish. A goldfish is nine seconds. Anyway, so eight second PR and it's a how to do your own PR. So I highly recommend that if you want to get started and do your own PR and you can hire a PR person, check out the book because it's all my secrets. And my PR agency is goody with a Y, goodypr.com. And our tagline is let us magnify your good. Yes! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> That's so perfect because I'm always trying to figure out how can we spread more good in the world? So I love that. And, and I just want, yeah, so people reach out if you can. And, and um, I just, and spread the word. It's, it's so important to help each other as we're, we're all trying to create a better world. And I, it just in so many ways, I have so many stories I want to say, but we're out of time. So I wanted, as you just did, I'm going to ask you again, if you lift your voice and say yay with me as we go off the air. Absolutely. Okay. Three, two, one. Yay! <laughs> Thank you for being a guest today, Liz. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Hi, I'm Jack Canfield. You may know me as the co-author of the Chicken Soup for the Soul series. And if you want more help in getting from where you are to where you want to be, I want to encourage you to listen to the Jennifer Hammond Show.